Joining us now, Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianka. I remember being out in the open water for a sea otter, a kelp forest story, and uh, it was deceptive how hot it gets out there in the open water. At least it was that particular day. I don't know if that's a typical thing. Well, but, yeah, I mean, if you got the sun on you and not a lot of wind, sure, I suppose you get pretty, pretty toasty out there. Yeah. Right now, you know, it's not going to be warm on the water. We've got clouds. Uh, it's drizzly in some areas. The low clouds are ruining everyone's yeah. sky, night sky viewing tonight. If you missed the beginning of the show, there is northern or there are northern lights. The aurora borealis are actually visible all the way down to our latitude right now. Uh, there's an in intense geomagnetic storm going on right now. With uh, I've seen some pictures from like the Sacramento Valley from Mammoth Lakes, and we showed you a, a webcam in Parkfield, which was able to pick up some of the northern lights. So if you live farther inland, away from the coast where we have low clouds, or cities like uh, Hollister in the Salinas Valley where the lights are kind of polluting the sky, you may be able to see some of the northern lights tonight. Uh, so I'm talking to you folks in southern Monterey County, San Benito County, away from the cities. Maybe go outside and take a look. Let us know if you can see something. Some in of nature's best images out there. Uh, yeah. I mean, incredible. I mean, it's mm -hmm. been it's been decades, I think, since we've seen any lights, at least down in the uh, the Monterey Bay area. And of course, we're stuck in the clouds. Here's a live look yeah. from Domenico's on the wharf. I mean, it is light out there tonight, but that is just low clouds and a bit of fog showing up. So unfortunately, that is the way it is. And sometimes during April, obviously, we aren't always in our full on summertime style of weather just yet, but we are there today and have been, well, over the last couple of days. It was pretty warm to finish off the week. The weekend did cool off a bit. Here are some low clouds at this evening at sunset in Salinas. And take a look at some high temperatures today. Arroyo Seco, 80 degrees, our hot spot. Most of us in the 60s, though, on the south and east sides of the bay. We stayed in the 50s for the most part. It was a little warm at the Salinas airport, but across town, we were only in the upper 50s on average. Now, I'm showing you the wind speeds. We are still seeing some gusts to 28 miles per hour in Soledad and 38 miles per hour off of the Big Sur coast, where by the way, there is a gale warning in effect, and that has been extended all the way through 9 p.m. tomorrow. So gusty winds, strong winds anyway, expected on top of high seas will continue through tomorrow, making conditions hazardous for mariners. That's the one alert in place right now. Otherwise, temperatures mostly in the 50s around the bay, a few spots inland in the 40s up in the hills right now. Uh, not too bad. We've got a warmer layer above us, so it's still 53 up in Loma Prieta, for example. And right now down in Gilroy, it is 49 degrees, one of our cooler spots out there. So temperatures are going to be the big story over the next couple of days. Tonight, with the clouds hanging around, we're going to stay fairly moderate, maybe a touch cooler than last night, but not much. The clouds will act as a blanket for us and should fill in around the coast and into the interior valleys overnight. Again, the farther away from the coast you live and the higher in elevation and the farther away from cities, you may catch the northern lights here over the next couple of hours. It may fade here, but I've, over the last hour or two, we've been seeing some reports that that you can see them at this latitude and we were able to verify that with uh, a camera a webcam all the way down in, into Parkfield. So that's in southern Monterey County, and that's how far south these lights are viewable. Now, during the day tomorrow, we'll see the low clouds recede to the coast. We'll see some clearing on the coast, uh, especially in the afternoon hours, and we'll probably hold on to a few low clouds for coastal cities, but I, I expect less cloud cover tomorrow than what we had today, and it should be a mostly sunny day. And temperatures will start to inch back upward after cooling a bit yesterday and today. Here's what I'm expecting for your highs tomorrow. 68 in Santa Cruz, but look at the 70s in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Not too bad out out there starting to feel that warmer temperature change where it's warmer up in the hills than it is down on the coast. Davenport only 63, 66 over to Capitola. East shore of the bay ranging from mid 60s in the north to upper 50s in the south. Salinas back into the 60s tomorrow. Mid 70s in Gilroy and Morgan Hill. Hollister you get right to around 70. Over to the Monterey Peninsula and vicinity expecting highs to stay in the 50s. You have the best shot of seeing low cloud cover tomorrow. Winds will coming, be coming in off the water and could get gusty at times on the exposed areas of the coast. And then down south uh, away from the coast, you'll see the temperatures raising, rising rapidly, getting us to around 80 degrees into our southern valleys. So we do have some warm spots again tomorrow, um, and then the temperatures keep heading upward. Looking at that seven-day forecast for the coast, we're going to jump about seven degrees on Tuesday and Wednesday with less sunshine or more sunshine expected. And on the coast, by the time we get to Thursday, we're going to see some pretty warm temperatures. Now, I do expect the return of some low cloud cover toward the end of the week and into the weekend. But it should be a short-term thing as the ridge strengthens again on Sunday, warms us back up. Next week is looking cooler, by the way. And at the moment, looking pretty dry outside of any drizzle we can squeeze out of the low clouds. And that can really happen on the smaller scale. So it's hard to say whether you will see some in your neighborhood or not. There's a chance always with the low clouds. Inland areas seeing highs on average close to normal tomorrow and then well above for the rest of the week. Victor. Thanks so much, Dan.